Good morning. Let's start with the good news first off. This construction is only expected to last half as long as it did last summer. And when it's all done, MassDOT hopes that this will double the lifespan of the Sumner Tunnel. Another month-long shutdown of the Sumner Tunnel has begun. The 90-year-old route between East Boston and downtown is now closed until August 5th. Crews hard at work overnight getting straight into the renovation project. So this is phase two of a $160 million rehabilitation project that's going to extend the life of the tunnel uh, by about 75 years. The city's main pipeline to the airport is getting a new driving deck and fresh asphalt. And although drivers will need to plan ahead, others are ditching their cars and finding new ways to get to their destination. I work at the airport. I'm a flight attendant, so I literally can walk to the blue line and then just get on the shuttle and go to the airport. So it doesn't affect me at all. The shutdown means more congestion in the Callahan and Ted Williams tunnels as people seek alternate routes. This is the second summer in a row the Sumner has shut down for repairs. MassDOT believes the full closure will allow them to get more work done faster than they'd been able to with just night or weekend closures. I do see the traffic um, backed up all the time. And I'm just grateful that I live in walking distance. Now, the state is offering free ferry service as well as free service on the Blue Line to Logan Airport. And one final note, they will be offering a discounted commuter rail tickets for trains headed to and from the North Shore, all in an effort to try to alleviate some of the congestion that we are expecting as this tunnel construction continues. Again, ideally expected to be done by August 5th. Live here in East Boston, Stephen Quinn, 7 News, today in New England.